grinding a lot finer, so we're getting a lot more of the oils out. And the it's more, yeah, yeah, sort of 96 degrees, this one. So it's 96 degrees? Yeah. So if you get... How do you get from this to this? I'm here at the Royal Botanical Gardens in Cambridge to meet Alex Summers to find out how. Well, first things first, we had to pick the beans. Normally they're found in the tropics, but fortunately for us naked scientists, the botanical gardens had a couple of plants we could farm. Then you've got to peel them. The red flesh tastes horrible, by the way. Then dry them before they're ready to roast. Alex and I took them to Hot Numbers, an artisan coffee shop, for a good roasting with Simon Fraser. We didn't have many, maybe 30 beans in total, so we popped them into the machine at 200 degrees C for roasting, checking up on them as we went. And after 15 minutes or so, they were ready for grinding, and most importantly, brewing. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 You know, it's not bad actually, I'm really quite enjoying it. I mean, it's, it's, it's very different. It's, yeah. I think there's sometimes that feeling if you're doing something am, from an amateur basis, which is exa exactly what our coffee beans are, that it's going to be it's going to be pretty bad. But that's not bad at all. So if Alex was to set up his own cultivation <laughs> business at Cambridge Botanical Gardens, would you buy his coffee? Well, I'd certainly uh, I'd certainly give it another go to put through the roaster, but I might need more than about ten grams. <laughs> so. Alex, what do you say? I mean, I feel like I should be a shareholder at least, having introduced you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. I think what we'll put to the director is ripping out all the plants and just putting coffee right through the <laughs> tropical houses. See how she goes with that. 